The story of Tree Song is essentially, um, we have a grandmother and a grandson in this old stone cottage in the middle of nowhere. And the grandmother is a bit reclusive and doesn't like to leave the confines of her comfortable home. And the grandson seems to want something more. And we have a tree on a hill, which produces this uh, strange mystical song that the grandson soon, soon becomes infatuated with. The, the process for making this film has been really, really fun because uh, I wanted to make it purely collaborative from the beginning. It started with myself and then bouncing ideas off uh, Ella, creative director, and going to Emily, a cinematographer. She came with all sorts of awesome ideas. And I can't claim this is my own film. This is definitely a collaborative experience. Yeah, Ben approached me with this idea and even though he says he didn't have a lot, the idea was just incredibly solid. We just talked and talked and talked and this film just kind of just appeared in front of us and it was one of the most beautiful things I'd ever imagined and I was like, I need to help make this. I really wanted to make a film where we could just let people breathe. I like forcing people into a moment. Yeah, very like slow cinema with an emphasis on on nature, natural beauty and aesthetics, natural lighting and colouring. Um, just letting the world speak for itself, I guess, and just be there to watch it happen. You can have the best camera and the best angles, and that is also very important, but if you don't have a lighting that um, works with the camera and the camera moves and that is just flat, it's just, it will look, the, the film will look flat. So yeah, lighting is very essential uh, for this film. I like that you haven't necessarily got a particularly specific runtime aim. Um, it shows that you are really open to the possibility of things changing in the edit and um, and how the edit can shape the film itself. Uh, I say the script definitely comes from a sound design oriented uh, perspective rather than a cinematographer's perspective and it's been really interesting seeing how a film develops um, with that uh, groundwork of like sound design and soundscapes. Uh, so when I first spoke to Ben about the film, it seemed like sound was like a very primary aspect of it. Like it seemed like overall it sounded like it's, the sound is more important than the visuals. Just, I don't know, when he, when he first told me I could, um, yeah, when we were just working out the, the sound of like a tree song, it was like we had to figure out the, <laughs> what a, tr a tree song would sound like. And uh, Sound has always been in my experience on other people's productions has been sort of a last minute thing that they remember and then and realise that it affects the film quite a lot. What appeals to me about this story is the themes of connection to nature. I think there's a lot of work about nature but maybe not enough work about the connection to nature. The experimental nature of the film definitely uh, those tend to be the more creative projects and the themes of nature, spirituality and interconnectivity are definitely philosophical concepts that I uh, vibe with. And uh, Granny's really excited for it. She's always wanted to be in a film and uh, she's just over the moon that we get to do this. It's been like a dream of mine to make a film with my gran. I'm really excited to be on location. Uh, the crew that we have are all incredible and I'm really looking forward to working with each and every one of them. I think we're going to obviously be working to an industry standard but we'll be doing something different um, and creating a difference as well. So, yeah.